Hi you guys, I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. I just want you to close your eyes for a minute and just see how silent this place is. Like, if I don't say anything, it's deafening. And it is always moments like these where you can just sit down, sit with yourself and just ground yourself. So I remember this morning, I just woke up, I opened my journal so I usually am not a fan of journaling all the time, but I do journal here and there. So I always believe in not forcing my body and mind to do something. So if I feel like doing something and if it comes from my intuition, I would sit down and do it. So I was just so grateful about every small thing. And that just raises your vibration to a place where you are now in tune with the universe. You are in tune with your body. And uh, I just quickly want to talk about... Um, universe and how our lives are so much shaped and made and what we create around us and the life that comes to us the kind of people that we meet it has so much to do with who we are as a human being so um before i get into that i just want you to take three deep breaths i want you to make sure that your tongue is touching the roof of your mouth and your mouth is closed you are breathing through your nose and when you inhale your stomach rises like a balloon and maybe you can hold it for a few seconds and then when you exhale um, the stomach is going to deflate and it's going to move towards the spinal cord so just take a few deep breaths i'm going to wait for you until you do it but either you can pause the video but just make sure and pay gratitude for this breath it's it's so beautiful and so effortless and our bodies are doing it for us all the time so so much gratitude for just being able to breathe and um, i hope you feel better and more relaxed if you have done it you have now shifted from a sympathetic nervous system to a parasympathetic nervous system that's your sns to pns and you are now from fight flight freeze to rest and digest mode so it's just, you know, calming and relaxing and just chilled. It is actually very chilly and I'm not dressed for the weather, but uh, I just want to talk about universe. Okay. So I think I, a lot of people message me if I believe in law of attraction, if I believe in universe, if I believe in manifestation and the simple answer is yes, you can leave this video here if that's what you were here for. But I 100% believe that everything in your life happens for a reason but at the same time you are not just living your life you are not just randomly meeting people i believe there is a reason why i am seated here recording this video for you and i believe there is a reason when 500 or 1000 people will come across this video and they will watch it and they will maybe find an answer that they were looking for so i believe we attract the life that we live and we create the life around us so, you know, you can be in any vibration that you want. So you can be in the victim mode where we're always like, oh, my parents are wrong with me, 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 I have so many limitations. You know, you can have that attitude or you can be like, okay, I was born with this, 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 but this is the life that I want. You know, I want to travel luxuriously. I want to dress well. I want to eat well. I want to shop at the best and the finest and most expensive stores and stuff. So you can if you are constantly looking at the reality around you if you're constantly living with your five senses you are just going to be put down upon okay you see someone else going through something and some problem and then you believe Achha, if i do it mere bhi galati hoga because uske galat hua tha. but you don't know that person's attitude towards their life towards their relationship towards their business towards their money so i think you know, when, when I am attracting a lot of positivity, I believe it's because I radiate it and that is why I attract it. So I am creating people around me. So I, I would say I would get one negative comment in about 10 days, which used to be a lot in the past. But I only and only see happiness. And even when someone is saying something offensive, I always try to put myself in their shoes and see where they're coming from. So I'll either accept it, let it go. I can't change it so i'll either accept it or let it go but i honestly have experienced if you if you, if you know if you just go through any of my videos even on youtube and if you just go through the comment section you will see the lovely and the most 
kind people I am surrounded with. Okay, it could be very limited. It's not in millions, but it's enough of a support for me to keep going and do what I do because I really believe we need more positivity. We need more kindness. We need more people who can show you that you know being calm is something that you can achieve and you can live in that vibration. So people are constantly making videos and bringing someone down. They're constantly yelling at you. Like some people are recording videos and it's like they are yelling at you. And I just want to create a space where you can just open the channel, open that space and come into your parasympathetic nervous system. Be a little more calm, be a little more relaxed and know that, you know, people achieve it. So I always used to, you know, look at Deepak Chopra and there are so many people, believe it or not, who are against what he says and they are like, okay, he's an MD and he's talking about universe and body, I, me, myself and stuff and it's just hoax and fairy tale and all of that stuff. But I have only once in the last five or seven years, I have seen only once Deepak Chopra being a little off and it was just in one interview with, I believe, Don Hoffman or something. But um, the point is, I am so inspired by his calmness that I try to develop it in myself. So I am a type A personality kind. So I am, you know, run, hustle, go, work. And I'm, I'm a very workaholic kind of a person. But I'm just trying to be calm and chilled and relaxed and not be offended, not be angry and not yell at people. Even when I'm trying to talk about nutrition, I don't want to sit here and blame people about all the wrong things they are doing. I think enough people are doing that. I want to talk about goodness. I want to talk about what's right. I want to talk about how you can change your mind and become, bring upon a change in your body. So that's kind of what I'm trying to go for. And this is the reason um, I try to do such like, you know, more videos like this, like you can of course find the videos like these and nutrition and everything. But I just want you to understand that everything around you, in a way you are attracting it. So be it my dream car, be it my dream job, be it my dream relationship, be it my um, dreamy clothes, be it my dream body. In a way, if I go back five years ago, I have attracted and created this life for me. And it's just, it's just so, um, I am at loss of words here, but it's just so empowering to know that there is not something or someone up above high in the sky dictating or, you know, it's not a puppet show where I have to live and breathe and think and dream according to what God plans had made for me or God has in store for me. It's so empowering to know and I feel so powerful knowing that every moment is pregnant with a manifestation that I'm about to do. So I am constantly attracting my life. I am constantly creating my life. So if I can create something and if something is in my power, how do I just, you know, not create my dream life? Why will I just sit and talk about what's wrong? Why will I not just sit and talk about one thing that's right? And that is how you attract 100 more things to be grateful about. That is why being, being grateful and gratitude is such a powerful vibration. It puts you so high on the vibration scale that if you're just gratitude about the breath that I just took and you just keep on repeating it, and you hold that vibration, you attract a billion more things to be grateful about. And I'm talking from experience. I've learned it from so many people. There are so many great channels like um, Ella Ringrose, um, Lior Alexandra, um, Master Shri Akarshana. All of these people talk about, you know, laws of universe and manifestation and how you can manifest your dream life, your dream car and money, you know, your um, financial status, luxury and all of these things. But at the end of the day, this is the answer. You don't attract what you want. You attract who you are. So if you think of yourself as someone who is not good enough, you are going to meet more people who will make you feel like you are not good enough. So I think of myself as a very calm person. I'm very positive. I'm very calm. I'm always in the highest vibration that I can be. And it's not like that I don't slip. I do slip. But I also know how to come back. And that is exactly the kind of people I attract. So I don't attract, I always say, you know, I don't attract negativity. I don't attract hate because I am creating my world. And if it is in my power, I will create the world that I want. And it's not just me. It's not just I, I, I. You can replace this I and this Ankita with yourself and your name and see how you feel. 
so i need you to feel empowered i need you to know that you are the most 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 powerful person you are powerful if no one has told you i will tell it to you again you are powerful and you can create have be do just anything that you want you can get it done but you have to understand a few basics laws of nature it's like gravity you can't deny it it's just there and just because someone has not seen it felt it it does not mean that it doesn't exist it just means that you have not seen it yet but if you get yourself to that vibration you would be able to hear it understand it know it touch it feel it believe it and experience it and that is what life is about you know i am the universe the universe lives inside of me and universe is constantly expanding so am i so is my desire and that is how you create life and um, that's kind of my approach towards life and uh, yeah that's my understanding i hope uh, i am able to give you something to pick up from and just pick up one thing and make sure that you change it for yourself because believe me you have to create the life that you want and you are the most powerful person and you have the power to create it so please create what you want and don't create what you don't want okay take care have a great day i'll see you soon bye